Hello there. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Good to see you here. Uh, Paul going to dive into today's, well, geez, ah, and my final uh, Photoshop typography challenge, last one for this week and for me. This, uh, this whole week's been super fun for me because I love uh, Photoshop. And I just love creating. I love, I love just bending tools to my will and all that good stuff. So good to have you here. Bobby Orlando, Lando, Michelle, thank you so much for that. Barbara, Kiss My Creative, Sajad uh, as well, and everybody watching the replay, hello to you as well. Uh, just so you know, we have the starter files right underneath me in the um, description, just so you know. You can download the starter file that I'm gonna show in a second. Uh, make sure you post your work to uh, hashtag 36 days of type, which is kind of why we're doing typography. I'm gonna be share your work down there as well, all that good stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here. So let's go ahead and jump on in. You can see it's all about handy lettering or hand, quote unquote, hand lettering. Yeah, that's right, we're gonna get fancy here. So this will be fun. Just so you know, for all of the files, they have this little description up here, handy lettering, place text along a path, to create your own hand lettering. Uh, and that's this info, so we'll just turn that off and we'll get the party started. Thank you so much for posting that. Sam Peterson posting the starter file. And uh, this is what I have. I have some quotes. In fact, let me just go into panel options. We're gonna make this much larger, like so. There we are, nice and big. We have uh, these layers. So there's actually uh, a bunch of different quotes and things that we're gonna play with. It's more than just putting type along a path. That's where we're gonna begin, but it's gonna get crazy after a while. Um, so uh, this is all based off of this quote. Your hand touching mine, this is how galaxies collide. Oh, so deep, right? So what are we, what are we gonna do? Well, um, I wanna place this text, and specifically this text right here, is gonna go on one hand, click, paste, you know, this text is gonna, I want it to just kind of follow the curvature of the hand. Okay, so that is the goal. So we'll just kind of zoom in here, and what do we do? Well, the easiest thing to do is to grab the pen tool right down here. Uh, pen tool, and we're gonna create that path, and we're gonna put that text along that path, right? Notice right up here at the top, this is the options bar for the pen tool. I don't have it set to shape, I have it set to path. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Come down here, click, click, right? It's just gonna kind of follow this path. Uh, oh, that I'm making right now. Um, yeah, and we can talk about making selections pass. Once you're done, by the way, this is a rubber band, um, is what's happening here, this like rubber band connection. Uh, and that's set up here in the, some of the, this flyout menu, rubber band. So I can always turn that off and it won't give me this rubber band look. But once you're done, just hit escape. Uh, we have the path. Where the heck is the path? Let me just turn off that background because this is all getting very hard to see. Um, here's my path. Ooh, hello. Here's my lovely little path. And um, like where the heck does it exist? Just so you know, it's going to be in your paths panel. So it's right here, work path. But all I need to do is use my text tool, go back in here, copy it, copy this text right, which I did a second ago anyways. Uh, and then I can select the text tool. And as I roll over this line, this path, I can click and then paste, right? If I click on this end, by the way, you're gonna sometimes, this is always, I'm glad this actually came up and I knew this was going to, which I'm glad it did, right? I'm sure I don't like problems, but this, you get these little control points. So I'm actually stretching that out Right, and we could see sort of the beginning, uh, middle, and end of that text, right? And what I'm doing is I'm holding down the command key or control key if you're on a PC, right? So I'll paste in that text now. We could see it's too large. I stretched it out. Again, always hold down the command key. We could start to adjust this uh, path or these individual points right in here as well. So that's what I'm doing, but ultimately, I'm just gonna double click, select everything, and take the size down, right? So open up the properties panel. Uh, and right up here 
any of these uh, numerical fields, you could just scrub on the icon next to it. And that's what I'm doing. In fact, I want the paragraph to be right justified, like so, because again, we want to have it follow that path there. All right. Hands. Uh, Rick H just uh, posted a comment to chat. Oh man, Neil Diamond. Some Sweet Caroline lyrics. Oh, you just named the one song that I cannot stand at karaoke. I'm sorry. Uh, so we have this path. We could always save this path as well. We could save path, and this is going to be the hand on the left. So left hand if we want to. Right, that will always be saved. We could always like manipulate it, whatever. Uh, right in here, we do the same thing. Ba, ba. Notice how it makes that new path. And we're going to do more with this. That uh, This is just the beginning, folks. This is just the beginning. There we are. Uh, you could also hit the A key. Just like in Illustrator, you hit the A key and you have a direct selection tool to manipulate this some more, right? And then just hit escape. We're gonna do the same thing with this other line, right? This is how galaxies collide. Oh, it's so deep. <laughs> Go over here, just, again, not even selecting anything special. It's the straight up text tool. Um, and we'll just roll over that line, click on it, paste in that text. There it is. Uh, we could see that there's a very long word here. Let's paste that in one more time. Paste, hold down the command key, and drag that out. And then we're still gonna take down, let's see if we can select everything, take down the side. Uh, ooh, it didn't get, this is how galaxies collide. Didn't get everything. Galaxies collide. There we go. Something like that. Okay, again, I could select everything. We could do, oh, this got a little funky. Here it is. We got a little knot right up here. Everyone. Oh, I can't, I can't. Uh, there we go, got it. There. Uh, what is going on? We're gonna take this size down some more. There we go. So I don't know what was happening. It was just missing some of that. Uh, but you can see all the text is in there and I can grab it. It was harder to grab that point because I was also near the end. But notice how I'm just kind of controlling where that's going to be along the hand like so. But also what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all caps because for all these types, this type, you have types options. I just like this better. That way the, the G doesn't dip down into the, uh, the hand there. And again, I can always go back in and uh, grab this point right here. There we go. There we go, like that. We're gonna do the same thing over here for this text and notice how off to the side, hey, they're just text layers. So I could easily select this one. We'll do out all caps there and um, adjust the size. So I want the size of both of these to be the same. This one we can change to maybe uh, 58. This one as well, instead of 60, we're going to be 58, like that. I might even do centered text is going to be a little bit easier. But anyways, you get the idea. 38, oh, I was adjusting, sorry, I was just adjusting the line um, the letting and uh, I w w wasn't needed to look here. So it's 36 point 
you know, 38 point. We'll take this back down to 36. There we go. Boom, there we are. We're done. We have our phrase. We could bring back the galaxy. And uh, we could obviously output this, right? Yeah, so Robert brings up a good point. Robert mentions in chat that, like, Illustrator will give you, like, a lot more control with, uh, you know, the type along a path. That's, that is true. I agree. You know, Illustrator has great control over type. You know what else has a great control over type and body text is InDesign. All right, so we have that. We can turn that off. We could play with this some more. We can, I mean, you could have so much fun with this. I can go like on and on. Like we could take this, we could do that, right? We could put these in a layer group. Maybe we want to put both of these in there. Bring that out. This is stuff you've learned probably over the course of the day. But now we have this kind of like following the hand and obviously galaxies in there as well. Let's do something else that's going to be really cool. You ready? Because now you're thinking that's cool, Paul, but you have these cool hand shapes. What if you put all this, put text inside of the hand? Like how would that work? Well, that's what we're going to do right now as well. So I'm just going to jump these layers and we're going to take these group this is sort of type along a path and now we're going to do type that's actually inside of say this hand here okay the the text is going to be uh this text here right let me just change the color i apologize nobody can see it because it is black i have all this text right here and i want to take all these quotes or just this, all of this text and put it inside the hand. So I'm gonna just select it all, I'm gonna copy it. And now I need to make my own little shape to put that text in. So what you could do is to hold down the command key or control key if you're on a PC and click, boom, right on it. Click on that thumbnail. What it does, and this is what this little icon is showing you, it's gonna turn this into a selection. Click, there it is, okay? Here's the selection. Okay, now what I want to do for this selection is I want to uh, turn it into, again, like a path, right? So how do we do that? I usually just always make a new layer, but we'll go back to our paths panel, right? Um, we do have this one, by the way, that we could save because this is the right hand. Now we're going to do, we're going to go for this shape. We're going to turn it into a path. And how you do that is just with it, with that selection going on, just make it work path from selection. Perfect. There's my work path. And uh, from here, we could save this path as left hand filled or whatever. All right. But that's all you need to do. Open up your path panel. Click that little button. Makes that path a selection. Then you can click inside of it and paste that text. Remember, it keeps a track of the last sort of uh, text that you used, which was all wacky. Uh, the last uh, font settings, I should say, or type settings. So I need to just kind of adjust those. I'm gonna change this to auto, and uh, we could drop this down as small as we want. We can go 10 point, and you can see what it's doing here. Also notice the paragraph, it is justified. It's left justified. So it fills out that whole hand like so, okay? So that's how that is done. I could do the other hand as well. What about the sky as a background and the hands as shadows? That would work as well. You could do so much with layer blend modes. Uh, I'm into that. Right, the smaller the text is, by the way, the, the more filled the hand's going to be. But we're gonna do this with this hand really fast again. Command click on that uh, layer and then Again, I usually make a new layer. Go over here, click this magic little button. Shabamo, here it is. This is the right hand filled. And we can select our text tool. And did you notice how it interacts, how it, how it acts now? So as I roll over, it's like, oh, you could put type along a path. Bingo, that's what it says there. Or if you roll it on the inside, it's like, oh, you want to fill this shape? It recognizes it as an enclosed shape. Click paste you know drop it in there and it looks like i have to do the same drop this down to like 10 point 
Like so. Okay, so there it is. Uh, you could have fun with this as well. Um, let's save this. Uh, oh, I guess I don't need to. It's already saved. There we go. We'll deselect it. Um, here these two are. Let's ch let's do this. Let's have some fun with this because we could have some fun with um, uh, the blending here as well. So we'll, we'll make sure the text is under underneath. And then for the hands on the top, like this hand here, we could change the uh, blend mode. So we can go into like darken. Darken or multiply. We'll keep it at darken. But now uh, it uh, removes everywhere where it's dark and just shows the light pixels, which is the wherever it's white, it's going to give me that image. So I don't know. Go to darken there for this one. And uh, yeah, we could probably move this over a touch. But, 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 but. but there we are. There's our lovely little hands, and that's just kind of cool. Uh, okay. You guys are like, hey, I like that. That's cool. We're uh, having this test. Text, follow a path, filled that as well. Third thing I'm going to do, this is we're going next level pro quality stuff because now... I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to the next level. I have uh, these hands. Let me just group these. I'm trying to do like pretty much three hardcore examples in, uh, in no time. Okay. Uh, there's this. I would usually, I'd usually take these. I would probably blur them a little bit. Uh, let's just... Merge layers. Come here. J. Cadet. 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 I'm going to. Sure, I'll save this now, but I'm going to save. I'm going to save this to my desktop as a uh, bump map. All right. I could have also saved a copy. Okay. Go into this text here. I'm going to convert this to a smart object. I'm going to go to filter. And this is, again, next level. So sorry if this is too much. I'm going to make a displacement map. So I'm going to go to FX, distort, displace. From here, I can control how much, the amount that I want to displace it. Let's just go 25 just so we can... Uh, see it a little better. Let's just stretch it. We'll click OK. We'll go to that image we saved, which is just this one. Typically, I would blur it. But now what we get is we get this distortion, right? So we get distortion uh, based on that uh, bump map is what I call it, or displacement map. Do you guys see that? So usually I would do this with a blend of this. So, you know, you get, I don't know, something kind of like that. Oh, interesting. Right? Why is it so like choppy and pixelated? It's because I didn't blur that uh, bump map. That's that's kind of the thing. So, anyways, I think that was pretty cool. We knocked out three awesome examples. I know I went a little flat fast. If we do want to clean this up again, we'll go to uh, we'll just go into Gaussian blur, and you uh, usually I just kind of like smooth it out a little bit like that. So that's, again, my bump map or displacement map. <sighs> Let's go back over here. And again, the cool thing is this is a, um, a smart filter. So I can double click. I could take this down to 20, click OK, and then just grab this new one that I made. And now you can see how much more flowy it is, right? So... I kind of like this flowiness into it. Kind of like this one. I would say this is my favorite. Super cool. A little bit of distortion there, but pretty darn neat. What you can do in Photoshop with text and typography and everything. And what do we have now? We've just made three amazing examples. We'll go back. One. Uh, two, 
and then three. Cool, looks great. Thank you guys are too kind. I'm gonna save this file. We've done so much of this week. Oh, it was intense. I'm really into this though. So anytime you see a typography portrait being made, it's done this way, typically. Um, uh, yeah, well, you guys are too kind. This one's not bad. This one's easier to read. It kind of goes in order of easy to read to really hard to read, okay? But keep in mind, all of this is still live text, even this one back here, because it's just a smart object. I can just go in here and be like, hi, mom. There we go. And that's in there somewhere. All right, you get the idea. We have so much more, uh, well, we've done a lot this week. Let me kind of just review the files. I'll keep this one open. I'll close this one. We'll close that one as well. But four or five days, there are five files. Sure enough, you can see right in here, yesterday, of course. And these are available, uh, their replays are available. We started bending animals into letters and filling them, of course, with uh, patterns. We animated this, this file the day before that. So if I open that up, you could see what that looks like, right? Sliding that in and on out, all done in Photoshop. The day before that, we did this one, which was Earth fire and water. There's water. There's fire. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of clicking through the, the last ones. And then the very first day, um, yeah, we kind of went with the flow. So here's go with the flow. Just really distorting text. So there's hardly anything that you can't do. Um, Oh, okay, good. Christelle just mentioned in chat, you remember uh, I touched at the typography portrait a while ago. And, you know, I've done it like everybody, like so many designers have done that. Um, uh, but it's just something you want to put in the back of your pocket and maybe use someday. It's super cool. Make your own typography portrait uh, based on that, that novel that you wrote, that great American or wherever you're from novel. So, oh, Steve, you are too kind. I think we did a lot. Uh, always want to get your feedback as well uh, going forward because, you know, this is also like your, your time as well is important to us. So, and we want to respect it. And uh, hopefully you learned, learned a lot, right? I know I did. So thank you so much, everybody. Hi, I'm going to let you go now. Just kind of dragging these around, seeing if I could position them a little better. But, um... Yeah. Thanks so much. That is it for me. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And I think we have, oh, fun, Creative Cloud Express Masterclass, how to repurpose uh, content, which is going to be super cool. And obviously the uh, optimizing your editing experience with Jason, which I totally need to learn how to do. And um, uh, there's a challenge recap as well for Illustrator. But hopefully you learned a lot. If you guys need these files at all, you can get them below. So just go to each video and uh, you can download the starter file. So appreciate you guys. And uh, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. You guys are the best, my favorite coworkers. We will see you, uh, yeah, very soon on the interwebs. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for hanging out. We will, uh, yeah, don't go away, by the way, because <laughs> uh, Katrina's up next. So thanks so much, everybody. We'll see ya.